Greetings. One of the most important questions you could ask yourself if you were a so-called Christian is this. Who is Messiah? Now you well know fully well that the majority, probably 99.9% of churches in Christendom proclaim this, the Messiah is God. That God came down and took on flesh, right? Or you get cults that say, well, that was Michael the Archangel that came down. Well, you've got to get away from all this modern-day crap, these stupid people, and go back to the apostolic faith. The apostles based their faith on the faith of Abraham because they were Hebrews descended from Abraham. Matthew, Matthew 16, look at this very carefully. Matthew 16 and we'll look at um, verse 13 of Matthew 16 when Messiah came to the region of Caesarea Philippi he asked his disciples who do people say the son of man is well they replied some say John the Baptist some say Elijah Let's pause here. That proves the Jews believed in an earthly resurrection, by the way. Others say Jeremiah or one of the other prophets. So Messiah asked them, Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Mashiach. He spoke in Hebrew, the Son of the living God. Messiah replied, oh, you are blessed. Simon Peter, son of John, because my Father in heaven has revealed this to you. You didn't learn this from any human being. Think about that very really carefully, Matthew 16, verse 13 onwards. He could have said, well, come on, Peter, you should have recognized I'm God, come down. He said, no, you recognize, Peter, I am the Son of Man. All right? Now, Peter, brave Peter, then denied him, didn't he, at the trial, through fear of man. I don't even know this guy. And he wept. But then you go to Acts chapter 2. It's a beautiful chapter, Acts chapter 2, where Peter wakes up and makes this bold proclamation to his fellow Jews, which would include Pharisees, scribes, Sadducees, etc. Alright? Acts 2. Could, I could read the whole chapter, but I won't. You can do that. Acts 2 ok verse 36 Peter says let it be clearly known clearly known by everyone in Israel that God has made this Messiah Yahushua Jesus whom you impaled to be both Lord and Messiah right now Peter's words convicted them deeply and they said to Peter and to the apostles brothers what shall we do and Peter said get baptized in the name of Messiah right not in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's corruption, Catholic corruption. Get baptized in the name of the Messiah. Verse 39 of Acts 2. This promise is to you and to your children, even to the Gentiles, all who have been called by our God. Now, if Peter had gone up on the stage, after declaring Matthew um, 16, you are the Messiah. If he got up on the platform and said, you killed God, 
they would have thrown away the key and suctioned him, right, locked him up. Trinitarians have no voice whatsoever. I, I love this phrase, Trinitarian scholars, so that's like quite an enigma to me. There's no such thing as a Trinitarian scholar, no such thing. There are Trinitarians, evil, evil people. They're not scholars. Read that very carefully. Peter's testimony in Matthew 16 and in Acts 2. He knew this man was the son of man, a special man, not God come down in flesh, right? Do you know Messiah? Do you and I know Messiah? Because it's important. Why? The final prayer in Gethsemane, Math, uh, John 17 verse 3, this is or means the life everlasting. Knowing you, Father, the only true God, and knowing me, The one you sent forth, the Mashiach. Think about that. 